Despite the lack of a smart firewall and the password vault not being available across all devices, it's still one of the best antiviruses out there. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at one of the most popular antiviruses out there, Total AV. Now, Total AV has gained a lot of popularity for having near perfect malware detection rates offering a bunch of bonus features and having the most user-friendly experience in the market. So I just had to put it to the test myself and see if it held up to its reputation. And I found a lot of things that I really liked, such as the near-perfect malware detection and the number of bonus features it offers and how easy it is all to use. But at the same time, there were a couple of things I didn't really like such as the lack of a smart firewall and some of the bonus features not being available across all devices. So in this video, I'll be breaking down everything Total AV has to offer, including how it performs, both the good and the bad, as well as my overall opinion on the service to help you see whether or not this is the right choice for you. Now, if at any point in this video, you'd like to check out Total AV for yourself, you'll find all the useful links, including a discount code in the description down below. So first things first, how does it perform? Well, I planned a bunch of malicious files on my PC and ran a full system check. The whole thing took about an hour to complete, which is not the fastest out there, but it's still admittedly fast. However, it detected pretty much every piece of malware I planned on the PC and dealt with it quickly. Now, one thing that impressed me is that it didn't impact the performance of my system too much. And this is a problem you'd find with almost every antivirus out there. And the reason why it didn't impact my computer's performance is because all their scans happen in the cloud, reducing the impact on the system. This cloud-based scanning means that if there's a suspicious program or file, it's matched with the malware database stored in the cloud. And so it also results in more accurate detection of malware, including zero day threats, which are more dangerous because they're unknown to the database. Other than having really accurate system scans, Total AV also offers a bunch of other types of scans. This includes a quick scan that monitors temporary files, a smart scan that tracks cookies and junk files, and a custom scan that targets a single file, folder, or disk. And having these is pretty useful because you don't always have the time to run a full scan. Okay, now let's talk about Total AV's core antivirus features. And these are gonna be its web shield and its real-time protection feature. So starting with the web shield, Total AV's web protection feature is available as a browser extension for a bunch of browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Opera, as well as four different devices, including Windows, Macs, Android, and iOS. In my tests, it impressively blocked all phishing sites before I could access them, outperforming Chrome and Firefox built-in protection. What's even better is its customizable anti-phishing feature, which allows you to whitelist trusted domains. So while it's certainly an automatic feature, it also gave me some control over its functionality. Another thing I really liked about WebShield is the safe search option, which highlights safe links in green and risky ones in red to prevent accidental clicks adding an extra layer of online security. Next, we have Total AV's real-time protection feature, which is always active by default and continuously monitors your device for potential threats that may come from the internet or local networks. In my tests, it performed exceptionally well, quickly detecting every threat I planned in the system. Now, what sets it apart is its ability to accurately spot zero-day threats in real time, using cloud scanning without having any false positives. And on top of that, Total AV has great ransomware protection through its ransomware simulator, which identifies vulnerable files and blocks their execution before they can cause any harm. In short, Total AV's real-time protection ensures your system is secure and clean around the clock. With that being said, one thing I hope to find with Total AV but didn't is a smart firewall similar to Norton's. Now, you won't really need it that much with the web shield and real-time protection always on, but a little bit more security goes a long way. Okay. Now that I've covered Total AV's core antivirus features, let's talk a little bit more about the bonus features they offer. Though keep in mind that some of these features are only available with certain subscription tiers, 
but I'll go over that later on in this video. First of all, you have a bunch of system tune-up tools that include a startup manager that allows you to control which applications launch on system startup, and application uninstaller to effectively remove unwanted apps, a browser cleanup feature that clears cookies to boost your privacy, a duplicate file finder to eliminate redundant files, and a junk cleaner to free up storage space after app removal. Next up is Total AV's VPN, which provides fast and secure internet browsing with unlimited data. And having 50 plus servers across 49 countries allowed me to access a whole lot of international content on popular streaming platforms like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu. Now, it's not exactly on the same level as top VPNs like ExpressVPN, as it offers fewer servers and countries and does not give as much access to foreign libraries. But it still performs really well, and it's definitely useful to have if you're not considering getting a standalone VPN as it gives you a boost in terms of security and hides your security from both your ISP and any cyber criminals out there. Next up, we have Total AV Password Vault, which unfortunately is not available on mobile devices and is only exclusive to PCs. With that being said, when I used this feature on my PC, it was super convenient to have as it auto-filled my passwords whenever I needed them and helped me generate some strong passwords when creating different accounts online. Other than that, you have an ad blocker browser, extensions that effectively block intrusive and harmful ads, even on platforms like YouTube, which is honestly my favorite out of these, given how many ads have been popping up lately. Lastly, Total AV has identity theft protection with coverage for US residents. And the way it works is by monitoring the internet and dark web for data breaches involving your personal information like credit card details, social security numbers, and health insurance information. If it finds anything, it sends alerts quickly, and they also assist in restoring your information while offering up to a million dollars in coverage, depending on your restriction. Be sure to check their official website for more details on this feature. Now that I've covered pretty much everything special about Total AV's features, I want to talk a little bit more about the user interface and how easy it is to navigate the app. Starting with the UI, despite its feature-rich nature, Total AV has a pretty intuitive user interface that creates to both beginners and advanced users. The dashboard has four main tabs, malware protection, internet security, system tune-up, and password vault, making it pretty easy to navigate. I personally think this is one of Total AV's strongest points as I have had a difficulty finding whatever feature I was looking for while using other antiviruses in the past. As for the installation process, whether on desktop or mobile is pretty straightforward and you can do it in just about five minutes, so there's no need to worry about that. With that being said, the one feature that does not exactly follow the same easy of use approach is the WebShield browser extension, as it may intentionally appear in a bit complex. However, as I've used it more and more, it didn't feel as intimidating as I thought, and I got the hand of it really quickly. Finally, let's talk about how much Total AV costs. Well, it has three different subscription tiers, and offers a discount for the first year you buy the program. The first plan is gonna be Antivirus Pro, which costs about $29 for the first year. It has all the core protection features I talked about earlier, as well as the system tune-up tools, identity theft protection, and the disk cleaner. When it comes to devices, this tier offers the lowest amount of all three, which is three devices. One tier above it is the internet security tier, which is the one I personally recommend, as it has the most value at $39 for for the first year. It has everything offered in the Pro tier as well as the VPN and it secures up to five devices per subscription. Lastly, you have the total security tier priced at $49 a year. It has everything offered in the previous two tiers as well as an ad blocker and password vault and can protect up to six devices. Other than that, all plans have a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you want to get yourself an even better deal, you can check the link in the description to save yourself some money. Okay, now that I've covered everything everything you need to know about Total AV, would I recommend it? Well, absolutely. Despite the lack of a smart firewall and the password vault not being available across all devices, it's still one of the best antiviruses out there, 
as it does not hold back when it comes to performance and features while keeping everything extremely user-friendly. Not to mention that it's probably the only antivirus I've seen that has identity theft protection included in all tiers making it an all-rounder when it comes to user protection. So if you're looking for an easy to use, well-rounded antivirus, and you're not sure which one to go for, having used Total AV for a while now, I could comfortably say that Total AV is a great option that I feel confident in recommending to family and friends. And that's it for today's video. Again, if you're interested in Total AV, you'll find all the useful links, including special discounts in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.